Well, it's estimated one in 25 patients contracts an infection during a hospital stay. CBS2 health reporter Lisa Siegel has the story of one local woman who survived a superbug. Lisa. Pat, it's not something everyone understands, but for Alicia Cole, it is all too familiar. She knows what these patients are going through. She survived a superbug and now is making it her mission to help others. Oh my God, I, I was devastated. First of all, my heart went out to the, the families. You know. Alicia Cole of Sherman Oaks recalling her reaction to the news of the superbug warning at UCLA. Alicia was infected with a drug-resistant superbug at another hospital in 2006. I know from firsthand experience, just because you live doesn't mean it doesn't dis just decimate your life. Alicia was working as an actress when it happened. She entered the hospital healthy for a routine fibroid removal. She was supposed to leave the next day. Instead, she spiked a fever, then went downhill fast. She'd been infected with a flesh-eating bacteria. And as a result, I had an open abdomen for three years. I was in medical care, going to a wound care center for, you know, four years. I almost had my leg amputated. And I learned after the fact that my hospital had been cited by the health department for infection control deficiencies. There was no way for me to know that. Alicia's since become a patient safety advocate, working with politicians, even presidents, to prevent infections from devastating others. She says even when hospitals report infections to health departments, those agencies often don't tell the public for weeks, months, or years. There's this kind of collegial uh, professional courtesy that health departments extend to hospitals. And we've got to be better about putting the patient first. Alicia wants real-time reporting to the public of all hospital-acquired infections. Lives are at stake, and it's time that we get real about that. Alicia never imagined this would happen to her. Her goal, of course, is to help patients and change safety laws. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS2 News.